Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. Sorry for the sporadic uploads and stuff like that, man. I've been sick. But we finna get back to the uh, to the meat and potatoes and the and the meatballs. So uh, this one is is one from uh our boy Anton Daniels. And uh this is Get Out of the Way if you don't want to marry us. A woman preacher speaks to single women on pulpit. Now, bruh. I got 304 followers on fucking <laughs> Twitch, bro. That's crazy. All right, bro. Uh, Y'all know. Oh, wait. Hold on. Somebody just followed me. Appreciate the follow, Stella. Appreciate that. Just a normal, what is that? Scoop Cooser. Appreciate the follow, bro. Oh, shit. Flawless Burn. Appreciate the follow. Oh, damn. Appreciate y'all, man. Anyway, um, let's see. This is, what is this? I don't know. We're going to just rock out the video. And I, uh, say my due diligence throughout the video if I need to. Let's go. Baby, he, he don't want to marry you. That's fine. Get him out of the way. Get out of the way. Somebody else. Somebody else. She shout out for uh, doing a little fake shouts while she trying to preach the whole independent woman and get out the way if you don't want to date me. That's kind of, I don't know. I believe in God. That's fucked up. You can't do all that, bro. That's faking it. You know, I'm trying to figure out at what point do men decide that they want to go back to church or that they want to get back into um, spirituality, right? Because as you can tell, as you can hear in the background, there's nothing but women that's cheering this foolishness on. You know, I've been saying this and I've been saying it time and time and time again. It's bad enough that we got a lot of simps that's inside of the pulpit which is one of the reasons why men started walking away from church in the first place, right? But now we have women that is basically preaching to other women and they basically keeping other women single. First and foremost, let's just set the precedent. Women are not supposed to be in a pulpit. It's biblical. It's scripture. And I don't care how much y'all think that it's... Damn, it sure is now I think about it. Damn. Damn. Hold on. He finna speak. He finna spit. It's supposed to be different. I don't care how much y'all give yourselves names. Prophetess, evangelists. Uh, you know, usually we'll see this this type of stuff happen when you have some kind of powerful man that's a part of the, the ministry or he's the pastor and then the pastor's wife got to be up there. But now women are basically ordaining themselves. And they're the ones that's speaking to other women about what you're supposed to be doing. And now they're talking about relationships and tying it back into the ministry and things like that. And this is one of the most viral clips right now uh, that you guys sent me that I decided, okay, well, let's just have a conversation. And I, I kind of scrolled through her profile just to see what she was talking about. Um, Before he starts, it was also, it was supposed to be like, um, I remember like, if women did speak the gospel, it was to speak to other women about their duties, you know, for their man and stuff like that. I know they definitely don't want to hear that no more, but it was stuff like that. So, oh, man, I, bro, man, man, man. But I just can't. I just can't allow for certain things to happen. And just because you seem like a halfway decent person doesn't mean that the message does not resonate with the wrong audience. And the one thing that you wind up going viral for is the worst content that you put out. And you put this on social media and it's unfortunate because now we got to bring you to the front of the congregation about what you're talking about. What are you saying? Like, okay, so you don't want to be connected to the ministry. What? 
when and at what point, and this is not even like scripturally sound, the things that you're preaching. At what point was a man ever supposed to be following a woman? That That's my first question. At what point were you giving men ultimatums? Even in the word of God, it says he who findeth the wife findeth the good thing. When did women start making decisions as to what it is that they're supposed to be doing with, with regard to relationships? And this is why even when you think about marriage in a general sense, the symbolic nature of it is cover to cover, meaning that uh, a father is walking his daughter down the aisle to pass her over to her groom, which is then her covering and the person that continues to direct their life because women are supposed to be a helpmeet, not a partner. And now you got women basically in a pulpit giving other women bad advice and also giving men ultimatums or inspiring women to give men ultimatums as to what it is that they're supposed to do inside of a relationship. And it's weird. I mean, it's not just weird, it's disrespectful. It's, it's something different. And it's almost like this spirit and it's infected us so bad to now it's spilling over into, or I guess in a way, it's always been a part of what it is that we've been looking at from a ministry perspective. Um, and that's why you see the, the church is filled with women because people are not here to tell the truth anymore. They don't tell the truth. They're so busy pandering to other people's feelings and making them feel a certain type of way about what it is that they're talking about. And, you know, I, I just really wish, I pray and I wish uh, for us to have a different message, for us to have different messengers, for us to ultimately get back to the root and the core of what it takes in order to be successful, uh, for, for single women not to preach to single women, for us to not to be substantiating baby mama behavior, for us to get back to the core of things and telling the truth, which ultimately is supposed to prick your heart and hold women accountable, men and women, but men largely, they understand that society holds us accountable. Um, and even when I talk to men today, right, when we have conversations or they get a coaching call or even when they call into a show, when you hold men accountable, 90% of the time, it's not 100% of the time, because sometimes it takes them uh, to go back and, and think about their actions. But most of the time, I mean, overwhelmingly, most of the time, they like, you know what, man, you're right. Or I ain't think about it that way. And they, they're more receptive, especially considering that it's another man that has their best interests at heart. I couldn't even respect a man that went and got counseling from a woman. I, I couldn't like, it just doesn't make sense. Just the whole idea of a leader in the pulpit, being a woman that's preaching to other women with skin tight clothes on talking about get out the way is just weird to me. It's weird. And anybody that, that thinks otherwise, you know, I'm always open to the possibility that I'm wrong. So I'm going to read the comments and see what you guys are saying. But, you know, they decided to put this out on social media for us to be inspired by, but ultimately to respond to, you know, as I continue to evolve and as the platform continues to grow, um, and we do, and we look at a lot of these different response videos and stuff like that, right? And we evaluate these videos in order to make sure or to see whether or not it's something that we should be embracing or something that we should be walking away from. I'm seeing more and more women even get upset. The very ones that make these clips, the very ones that put them out, uh, whether they're talking about how much they're whores or they're talking about how many dudes they didn't been with, or you got a woman that's a part of the ministry that's telling you to get out the way, they're being a lot more uh, bothered by the idea that somebody responded to what it is that they're saying, and they only want to hear it one way. But guess what? We're not going to be quiet. We're not going to continue to preach the truth. We're going to continue to be open to the possibility that we're wrong, and that's how you know that we're not above reproach, and that we got the right spirit with regard to this, and if I'm off and if I'm wrong, I'm more than welcome to come back to the front of the congregation and say, you know what? I was off. I need to look at it differently. Maybe women should be a part of the pulpit, but you're going to have to substantiate your argument. You are, because every single woman that I see, in my personal opinion, as a part of the ministry, they don't measure up. Anton, don't judge. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? We should be able to evaluate the same way that we look at men, the same way we, that we look at anybody, um, you know, that we're looking at as a leader, 
we should be able to evaluate them by their fruits and figure out whether or not it makes sense and if it aligns with the word of God. Forget the spirituality part of it. Let's just, let's skip that part for one second and let's try to figure out why any part of this message makes sense. Get out the way. If you don't want to be married to me, get out the way. Is, do we even understand the purpose of marriage? Are we even preaching the fundamentals of what it takes in order to be successful within our households and then holding ourselves accountable as to why we in this position in the first place? Are we in a position to even really be able to negotiate or should we be going back with the person that we had kids, kids with in the first place? Should, should we be preaching not to open up your legs to the person that you not willing to be with for the rest of your life? Should we be preaching, uh, you know, the reason why you wear a white dress at your wedding day in the first place and the, and the, the symbolic nature of it? I mean, if we're not going to get back to the core of why we're here and why we should be doing this in the first place, then we, we need to go ahead and get them out the way. But you know what's going to happen? It's going to be more and more women that embrace them. Because they're not looking for correction, they're not looking for insight, they're not looking for wisdom, and they're not looking for truth. They're looking for somebody to make them feel good. And My thing is this, like, they're using, they're trying to use the word. And that's, the, that's what disgusts me, like, <clears throat> they're trying to use the word to make what they're saying okay. They're trying to preach the gospel and make what they're doing okay. That's so so backwards and wrong it's damn near the false prophet thing that god was you know preaching about and warning people about in the end times and it's just like bro like i can only that's literally what it is we're in the end times like for real like i can't even like put it to words like using the gospel to like make you being single okay because nobody's living up to your standards when you're in the church and you're supposed to live up to the husband's standards like you're supposed to make yourself presentable for god so he brings you your husband and you're doing the complete opposite <clears throat> just by what you're saying you know that you be being the complete opposite because they're not make the people that you, you're you're not the one that's supposed to basically judge the man you know what i'm saying like you can have your what you won't deal with in a man but like it, it's just it bro the more you get to it like it's so fucked it's messed up bro it's messed up but um you can say this the end of it we ain't gotta finish it out <clears throat> like comment subscribe y'all